The year was 1977. The law is Act No. 2 of 1978. Amended by Act No. 33 of 1989. And Act No. 4 of 1993. Why? To solve the problem of multiple applications and admissions into the universities, monotechnics, polytechnics, and colleges of education. Jump. Okay, as the world goes technologically driven, some organizations have been very, very proactive in this region of the world. Um, Joint Admission and Matriculation Board is championing the course for e-learning and e-testing. We started this process when we actually visited um, the Lagos State Ministry of Education with JAM and here National Orientation Agency in partnership with organizations like JAM is setting the standard and this time around it's all about my practice. Sir, let's have the honor of meeting you officially. I'm Kamaldin Oladiji, the JAM coordinator for National Headquarters Islands, Lagos. Now today, how does it feel being part of the process for this saying no to my practice? Like it's a big, it's a job primarily, is a function of the board to conduct matriculation examination. And then the challenge, the big challenge that is coming up really to examination in the society in our context. Although you may say, engineering based on corruption level, is my practice. Examination is my practice. Once anything going about the basic practices in the examination is my practice. The basic thing about the examination that we have to see is learning to learn. Is the philosophy the philosophy is learning to learn in the sense that you are now reducing substantially the human interface that leads to these my practices by bringing in ICT information commission technology to assist to drive it and bring in real time online. You are going to get results, you are going to get analysis, you are going to have a coverage that reduces the malpractice substantially to, to the extent that when you can, be, you can be so sure that your education level standard can be accurately measured. You can always say that, yes, definitely what is being taught, what is being learned has been evaluated correctly. Sir, let's look at this sensitive one. The, the people that we are targeting for this e-testing, the young people that will be writing this exam, most of them play on the social media. I would like to know what is the position of JAM to make sure that they use these tools, social media tools, in sensitizing the young Nigerian person. As far as the, it's what, I, it's what we have said earlier, that the issue is learning to learn. Hmm. So when you appreciate that philosophy of, you have to learn how to use ICT first. Yes, then you are now going to use ICT to learn, to wow. be educated. So it's learning to learn. Education involves not just more than the disciplines. The attitude formation is also that's what we are lacking. When you go to the, to the university, you say you graduate, you are worthy in learning and character. Wow. So ICT will now assist us in, in the fact that it will reduce the sentiment. I'm a Yoruba, I'm a Igbo, I'm a Hausa, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Christian. The machine is there. It's not looking at that. It's not doing anything. You go, you sit down there. You do your exam, and when you do your exam, you see the result yourself. Wow. Before leaving, you see the result that is what I've scored. Also, for we examiners, the 10 car aspect of analysis, the program, the software, the hardware, that is why the aspect that is not represented here are the computer professionals. Wow. We need them to, because they have to sit down and design appropriately, write appropriate programs, Congrats, yes. and also evolve softwares so that it's a gamut. E, e education, e teaching, the teacher will be convenient. E learning, the students will be able to learn and e evaluation to be able to bring out the best. So this is awesome. So on the final note, what will be your words as today you've been able to represent the registrar of Jam adequately with a worldwide presentation? What are your last words for all our viewers and let us all be mobilized. In case of watching from any part of the world, we've been able to interact with the Lagos director of Jam and. This process is going to continue. Wing TV is yes. going to be following them. We want you, if you are a student, you stumble on this video. Please share it with your colleagues on the internet. Let people get to know that the transformation is here. And E-based exam is what we're talking about. We shall continue when we we'll visit Jamba, the office proper. My name is Christopher Morris, and this is Wing TV 247 on YouTube. I'll see you at the next one. God bless you.
bringing in foreign materials like prepared notes. bringing in foreign materials like textbooks, use of programmable calculator, use of GSM or Bluetooth or iPod, substituting or exchanging of papers during or after the examination. Taking question paper or answer sheet outside the examination hall during or before the stipulated time. Seeking or receiving help from invigilator or other exam officer or outsider. Sanction. Translation of candidate result and prosecution. <laughs> Refusal to submit answer sheets at the stipulated time. Collective assault on examination officer. Individual assault. Mass cheating. They are all in your design. That's why they push now. Now is what they have. Now for me. You can't get it right. And the first lady from the very to the 